dear learners welcome you all to this second video of the unit uh, in the first video of the unit you have already learned swamiji educational thoughts and its influence upon uh, the educational system in terms of aims of education curriculum methods of teaching discipline role or place of teachers and women education as a whole in the second video of the same unit you are going to know the contribution of Vivekananda's philosophy to the present education system. Swamiji Vivekananda strives for the recognition of human contrast and conflict and the establishment of the brotherhood of men. Uh, to the world, he held out the vision of the universal religion, which would recognize divinity in every man and woman and which would help humanity to realize its own true divine nature. He stood impartially between each and west, prizing the vices and condemning the defects of both together, making an objective assessment of Swami Vivekananda's contributions to the world culture. The eminent British historian A. L. Besham stated that in centuries to come, he will be remembered as one of the main molders of the modern world. Some of the main contributions that Swamiji made to the modern world are regarding the base of modern education system. Uh, Vivekananda actually felt that modern education all over the world has so far concentrated on the learning to do aspect and not on the learning to be of education. He says that education must focus on the requirements of the human mind. He wanted to teach the common masses of India the ideal of synthesis, tolerance and universal harmony. His philosophy gives equal importance to the claims of spirit and the matter. To him, diversity is a real as unity. He is a great champion of free and compulsory mass education. He stresses the ideas that education should be universal and it must be provided to the cottages because India lives in them, because India lives in them. He remarks that neglecting mass education is a great national sin and is one of the causes of our downfall. Uh, Bibikananda is in favor of a national system of education based on the needs and requirements of the country. A national system of education should include the study of India's philosophy, culture, arts, religion, history and language. Swamiji laid emphasis on the practice of yoga in education. According to him, all knowledge is in the human mind and the same can be experienced by practicing concentration and meditation. Regarding the transmission of knowledge, uh, according to Swami Vivekananda, all teaching implies giving and taking. The teacher gives and the student receives. Teachers should motivate the students to acquire knowledge and develop in them scientific temper, secular outlook and civic responsibility. Vivekananda actually anticipated many modern thinkers in suggesting that learning through activities should be the guiding principles of any scheme of education. He wanted Every activity in Indian school and colleges, uh, inter-school and inter-college competition are also required in order to enable students learn how to sacrifice personal and selfish interests for the sake of the larger interests of a society. The ideal of womenhood in India, uh, he suggested that women should be made ambitious through a good system of education. He made a strong appeal for raising the status of women along with that of men. He felt that it was must against the ancient ideal of India that women were not given enough opportunities for self-development. Emphasis on Western science and technology. He emphasized the teaching of modern science and technology for prosperity and progress and to meet all the basic necessities of life. The greatest contribution of Swamiji in the educational social sphere is the establishment of Ramakrishna Mission in 1889. Uh, the mission has opened many centers all over India in order to preach the teaching of Ramakrishna and render social services for the welfare of our nation. 
the mission has its own hospitals charitable dispensaries maternity clinics clinics and mobile dispensaries orphans and homes for elderly are included in the mission's field of activity along with rural and tribal welfare work the mission has established many renowned educational institutions in india having its own university colleges vocational training centers high school and primary schools teachers training institutions institutions as well as schools for the visually handicapped so from the, the both the videos we have learned that swami uh, vivekananda's ideas uh, are a great heritage of india and it can be very useful for our society and the nation as a whole he was actually the greatest synthesizer of every time he wanted to remove the evils of the society by giving reorientation to politics sociology economics and education swami ji let stress on education as a powerful weapon for bringing civilization into society as an educationist he believe in absolute values which could be realized by a good system of education only according to him education should be the preparation for life it should develop a feeling of nationalism and international understanding it should lead to the development of character and make individual self development so thank you